How we doing, familia? What's going on? This is Polo Go. Praise one, love one, God only, all day, every day. That's right, champs. Oh, man, during the cold weather, during the hot weather, during the stormy days, during the dark days, during the, during the sun, shine, bright days, and any weather, any time. Praise one, love one, God only. Oh, man, no matter what we're going through, we just got to go ahead and talk to God. Talk to him. Just talk to him. Like if you're talking to me or if you're talking to someone that you know, just just talk to him. God listens. Oh, man. So anyhow, thank you for tuning in today. We're going to talk about the power of pruning, you guys. Pruning. And when I say pruning, it's like, you know, when you're cutting off some leaves off of your tree or or your little plant that we have. All right. Pruning, pruning. Okay. So here we go, you guys. There is power in pruning, most definitely. Have you ever had a like a little little tree or a little plant? Uh, me in particular, I got I got like a little bamboo bamboo plant. It was given to me. It was it was a gift to me, and I appreciate that gift. And it still lives. <laughs> that means because I'm taking care of it, right? Because God is taking care of me, so He's giving me a whole different perspective that it's not about me. And I, I see that has that little bamboo plant has a beautiful gift. And let's see, Polo, come on, let's let's share that love and keep that little bamboo plant going. And by the way, I called it my, I, I put I called it Polo. It's my my Polo, my bamboo, my bamboo stand. <laughs> I, I'm so silly, but anyways. So, have you ever had like a little plant, <laughs> or maybe there's a tree that you have in your house, or you know, like a tree like that, or. Like that, you know, some kind of shrubbery, right? Bushes. What does what the gardener got to do every once in a while? He has to print, uh, prune them. Or if you have a bamboo plant or some kind of little plant in the pot, you got to prune them. Right? Got to prune them and, you know, fix them up a little bit. What do we do when our hair gets all long and on, uh, you know, just not healthy? We got to cut it. Got to cut those tips, right? Got to get a little shave, right? And it's like if we get back to life, we'll just like our little plants or our trees or our shrubberies, you know, anywhere in the part of the world, like this tree right here, this bush, whatever it is, you know, see how there's things hanging, right? It looks okay. See how they're hanging? It looks all right. But maybe sooner than later, they might have to go ahead and uh, trim it, prune it, trim it, right? And we might think it hurts. It might hurt the plant and stuff like that, but maybe it doesn't i don't know maybe it does maybe, maybe that part's already dead and when you cut it well it's okay it doesn't feel like that that much pain but it's needed so the plant could continue to grow and live right we might be watering it every day talking to it every day it's like hey how you doing little polo my bamboo what's up bamboo polo bamboo how you doing and water it you know talk to it and but that's very helpful but we also need to prune it so it can grow so, and uh, if we apply that to us, God does a beautiful thing of pruning away everything that we don't need as long as we allow him to. And we use our free will to allow God to work on us and chisel away all our character defects. And God does the most beautiful uh, job, performance on us. And while he's pruning us and cleaning us up and, and healing us, we're able to go ahead and, and share as a living testimony to as many people that we can of how great God is. Oh, my God, because then they see the change. And sometimes without words, just our actions and how we live. Oh, man, that's beautiful. So when we give our life over to carry God, he will start pruning us. Pruning, pruning. And it's going to hurt. It's healing. And it's growing, but sometimes the growing pains and the healing, it, it, uh, it comes through pruning always, but it, sometimes it's like, oh, but you know what? We get stronger, we get healthier, we're able to grow, really grow, and, and uh, mentally, not just physically growing, but mentally and spiritually, and uh, learn from whatever we're going through. Because we're being pruned for a reason in life when God does it. Especially if we give him all, all free range on us and say, you know what? It's your will, Father God. Just go ahead and take this away from me. 
I don't want this, you know, and work on me. And he will. He'll prune it away every day. He's chiseling away. He's working on the masterpiece. What masterpiece is you? You're the masterpiece. All of us. We're all masterpieces. Yes, we all have different personalities and we, we think different. It's okay. We don't got to get in a confrontation because of that. Let's just have a conversation. If that. Right? But we all have different personalities, so it's okay. When we come with love, that's where the game changes. Then doors open. Right? When we come with the same love that God gave to us with others, and we just share it and we spread it, then doors open. Spiritual realms open with unlimited possibilities and realities that we can create through God. God through us to others. And that is, oh man, because at the end of the day, we just want to be happy. We want to live life. We want to be of service. We want to help somebody just like someone helped us. But then God has to prune us. And once again, those are growing pains and they hurt. But at the end of the day, it's for our own being. But well, sometimes we won't listen and sometimes we will. But when we're voluntarily pro saying it's God's will, oh man, it's a beautiful experience because then we get to feel exactly what we're supposed to feel and see it, live it, grow through it, and then share with others. Oh man. And that's the beautiful thing of having a personal relationship with God, you guys. Because He has a purpose for all of us, for you, me, all of us. At the end of the day, we're here just to glorify God, you guys. So, once again, we're in October. I hope you guys have a beautiful month. Blessings are sent your way. Today is October 4th, 2024. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go be amazing, right? Let's not hold back. Let's use our imagination. Let's tap in our, into, into our inner child. Let's use our, our own key, our own master key, and let's unlock that spirit of greatness that's within us. And let's give ourselves permission to enjoy this beautiful day, to be the best, to enjoy, to live, love, laugh, have fun, enjoy you know, and when something happens, just give it to God. The, the longer we wait to give it to God, the more uh, pain. <laughs> but the moment we can say, you know what? I don't understand this, God, but you know what? Take it from me. Then we can go back to joy. And that's what's up. And we share that with everybody else and help each other one. Each one teach one. Oh, man. That's what had happened to me. I wasn't listening. And I needed to be pruned. Pruned. You know, cleaned up. And part of the gift is I'm legally blind. But I don't use it as, as an excuse to not be the best version of self. But I use it as a reason why I shouldn't. I glorify God through everything and anything. Because he's been true to me through thick and thin. So now it's my turn to be true to God through thick and thin. And this is a beautiful thing. I'm having a live and I, I see better now than when I had 2020 vision. And it's amazing. None of this will be possible without God. So I'm just here to remind you once again. You are worthy. You're amazing. Let's go. Let's get it done. Let's not hold off and let's not let's not hold on or, or no, let's go. Let's go, you guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Amazing things are happening. We declare it. Let's go ahead and let God allow, allow him to chisel away character defects and prune us, right? So we can live better and use and and just enjoy life, you guys. Now part of that pruning process is also it could be maybe you're working a nine to five and you're still not making enough. Uh, living paycheck to paycheck and in debt. Well I can help you. God has placed me in a position where I can help people. I got some very good information, knowledge is power that I want to share with everybody on how to get out of debt and, and save for your retirement. Make sure you're not being taken advantage of financially. Let me know I can help you. And if anybody is looking into business ownership and we realize that our jobs don't care about us and they're going to let us go at any time, reach out to me. American dream is business ownership. American nightmare is a job. We're going to job. Okay, you guys. You guys be well and uh, blessing us anyway. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, champions. Let's go, champions. Let's go be amazing.